Hi everyone, welcome to another video in the video series Smooth as Butter. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the amazing updates that have been made to polls in Butter. So, let's dive right in. Over here on my screen, I have a Butter session, a room that has started. Uh, and what we'll take a look at is the different type of polls that are available. So what I've done is I have already added two polls from the template library. One is an open-ended poll and the other is a multi-choice poll. So for the multi-choice poll, if I just edit this poll, you can now see that the UI is a bit different. Uh, we have over here on screen is a what you see is what you get editor, which means that the editor here on the left, any changes that you make, uh, will get reflected in the preview section on the right. Uh, and so if I just do, if I just make some edits, for example, uh, there you go, the edits have been reflected. With a poll, you can optionally set a, a minute sort of timer to it. You can have a poll question, or you can have multiple options uh, that will be visible to the user. Um, and you can also make these answers anonymous or maybe you might want to see who answered this uh, poll. Now the user would have to just go in and click uh, the options, or the option uh, to submit their answer to this poll. You can also let the user select multiple answers and you can decide how many answers can be selected. You can also check this box to make this a quiz board, which means one of these options, one or more would be the right answer. Now, what I can do is I can start now. And so as you can see, this has started the poll. And what I can do is has, um, as an attendee of the session, I can select one of these as my answer to this poll. Uh, and then once everybody's answered, you can end and show the results. Uh, and then you can see that uh, this has got one vote. Uh, more people can add their polls and votes as well. Uh, and it will also show which is the most popular option from the poll. The other poll that we can have a look at is the open ended poll. Uh, and if I click on this, what it looks like is a question with an answer with, with a with a text box to submit your answer. Uh, so this is a free text answer which someone can submit. Um, and at the end, you will see all the free text answers over here. You can also see this answers in a word cloud. Uh, so this has more people add their answers uh, that will show up here. Uh, and of course, you can also filter out the filler words, uh, which is uh, just uh, different words uh, of your answer. Now to edit an open-ended poll, you would again click on three dots and then click on edit poll. Uh, and this UI looks slightly a bit different. Uh, the preview gives you what it would look like. Again, you can have the question. Uh, you might want to make this a word cloud. Uh, you can also allow voting for these ones. So people can just add a thumbs up for these votes. So after adding uh, your free text answer, at the end, you can also vote for these answers. So that is a very cool feature over here. Uh, and of course, you can also allow multiple answers to be added. And then once you're satisfied, just click on save uh, and then just go to your toolbox to start the poll. So that those are the updates to polls. Uh, this is po adding polls adds a little bit of interactivity to your sessions. So do consider using it. Uh, as a quick recap, there are multiple choice questions or you can have an open-ended poll. Uh, so do have a look in both of them. That was it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, and of course, do like the video, share this video with the network and also consider subscribing to this YouTube channel because that helps heaps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.